that's for sure. But uh, talk a little bit about how you think the game went. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, yeah, we, the, our, the first time we went live a couple of weeks ago, our, our defense for the most part dominated that that one. Last week we went really our offense for the most part dominated that one, and tonight there was probably a little more back and forth. Some young guys that really made some big strides, and now it's now you got to carry that over to the summer and uh, continue to grow and, and gain, make, make strength and conditioning gains over the course of the summer. Now, um, I guess a lot of the fans out there probably don't really have an idea of what the summer looks like for these guys. Uh, talk a little bit about that, real quick. Well, we'll finish up. You know, we'll we'll, we'll do a, a couple things here at the team here in the next few weeks, and then really when it's the first week of May is the last week of school with finals and everything, and then uh, really we we come back with our strength and conditioning staff. stuff on their own but really June and July are really probably the two biggest months for us in terms of strength gains and, and, and summer workouts and uh, more and more regulations being proposed by the NCAA we're having less practice opportunities uh, and it continues with a huge emphasis on, on uh, summer workouts and, and gains you got to make in the summer and uh, you know, that's that's what we're shooting for here is, is continue to have a lot of guys here for the summer and, and get in with Coach Fritz and his staff and, and he, he's as good as you're going to find around We've seen guys make huge gains, and that's really critical when we're doing that. And then really just your team building, get your guys together with them too. So it's it's a critical time because once once two days fall or fall camp starts, you got three weeks and we're playing a game. So you got to be ready. 